Why does every single white guy need a fishing rod in his room? What are we trying to prove? Oh, hello everyone. How's that looking? Is that okay? Is the audio synced? Is the audio synced? Yeah, well, that sounds good enough. Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today on the chopping block we have a pretty fun video, one I haven't done in a few weeks now. We have the second episode of Weeb Unboxing. Seemed like you guys really enjoyed the first one. I know I did. I got a whole bunch of figures and other goodies from you guys. Actually, I think it was all figures. But I'm not complaining, you guys know what I like. And I have several other boxes and packages that have come over the last few weeks to my P.O. box. So we're gonna go ahead, open up a few packages, and see what you guys sent me. It, fe it feels weird having like an empty table. What figure should be like the mascot of this video? It has to be an arm's reach because I'm too lazy to get up. One. Uh, you know what, how about this? How about Sega Miku, even though that doesn't really make sense because it's 100 degrees today, but... All right, I need to uh, grab some packages here. Are you guys ready for this cool magic trick? Sh... Sh... Zam! Through the magic of editing, that shot was possible. All right, you guys, as you can see, we got a few packages to open today. Uh, nothing too crazy. I think uh, this will be a comfortable amount for one video. I really am hopeful that this one is just full of Skinny Pop because uh, that stuff is freaking delicious. I would not be disappointed. The heck is this? Oh, that's where that's been. This is the from the Gantaku, like, cent Centaur unboxing video. You guys remember that? Awesome time. Best day of my life. Oh, I also, uh, I hung up the artwork, you guys. Oh my gosh. So we're gonna start with the one that's in the skinny pop box just because that intrigues me. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and, and wha-bam. I've upgraded my arts to, wait, how's that meme go? I've upgraded my, I've upgraded my combat to dual wield. All right, let's go ahead and open this. I'm tired of talking. Okay, the person didn't put their name on here, so that's typically not a good sign. But they are from Texas, and everyone in Texas is very nice. So I'm sure this will be full of very nice things. Don't disappoint me, random person from Texas. Oh, we got, we do have a note. Okay, um, here we go. I guess I'm going to read it from you guys. It says, love your channel. This isn't much just an old Miku I had. Hope you like it. Heart. There's a heart on it. P.S. Everyone should be cursed with a Link Figma. A little, a little smiley face. It says, love, Laura. Well, thank you, Laura. I appreciate that very kind note. Uh, let's see this this uh, fabled Miku. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. We, okay. This is, this was a good first choice, I think. Oh, my God. Uh, I'm no longer disappointed it wasn't Skinny Pop. I am actually quite happy that it wasn't. Laura, you are starting things off very strong here. Um, I actually was just looking at this figure not too long ago, so it's it's very ironic that you sent that to me. How did you know that? How do you know my search history? But anyways, yeah, this is the uh, 2011 Racing Miku by uh, Sega, and then we also have the uh, Link Figma here. Which is which is pretty cool. I am a uh, I am a fan of the Zelda series, mostly uh, Ocarina of Time and Wind Waker, to be specific. But yeah, we're definitely have to. Uh... I'm gonna set that one aside here. We're definitely gonna have to check this out real quick. This is pretty cool, you guys. I am one happy little uh, Hataku right now. She looks kind of cute without her her hair, her long hair. Like I'm still down, to be honest. There she is. She is looking real good. Are these really necessary? I don't know why you need the forks for the hair. I think it looks completely fine without it. But regardless, I think it looks amazing. Thank you, Laura. That is an amazing addition to my Racing Miku collection slash addiction. We don't even need Snow Miku anymore. Like, screw you. Man, that's a good view right there. I am always happy with my Racing Mikus. Alrighty, next package here comes from Jose. Alrighty, Jose, let's see what you got. Remember, always cut away from you, never towards you. Oh my god. You guys definitely know me. You guys know me better than like 
most people that actually know me know me. Jose, I want you to know that we're friends now. So, like, if you ever need, like, a ride or something, you just... You just give me a call, okay? It just keeps going. Ooh, there's a note, too. Eh. Come here. All right, here we go. So, Jose, yo, anime, please, one, two, three. These figs need a new home. And also, one of the boxes has something extra I put in it. I put, I pot. Oh, figures are from anime series you don't have any from, I think. Uh, I think you are 100% correct on that one, Jose. Very good eye. And I have seen some of Prisma, more for the uh, memes than anything. Got some cute little buttons here. I am always down for buttons, you guys know that. We gotta open up this one first, you guys. Like, nobody judge me, but we're opening up this one first. Oh my gosh, what is this? I think I found the extra. It's like Miku in like desert camo. She's going to like Afghanistan or something. Look at that. There is literally nothing wrong with this picture. And we also have these Love Live figures, which unfortunately I don't know a lot about Love Live. It's it's on my list, okay? So don't don't be telling me to watch it because it's I know. Love Live figure number one. Oops, sorry, Sonico. I just like I just like headbutted Super Sonico with the figure box. But that's okay. She's she's tough, she'll make it. Love Live figure number two. Those are actually really nice looking, you guys. The detail and everything. Really, really good. Man, I have no idea who made those, what company makes these, but uh they look pretty darn good to me. Jamma. Jamma made them. Yeah, you know, good old Jamma. I have no idea who that is. But yeah, look at this, you guys. We got a nice little figure collection over here starting. You guys just know me. You know what I like. You know I'm, I'm cultured, just like the rest of you are. Try not to lose your guys' notes, because I definitely want to save those. Package number three, and this comes from Levi. Let's go ahead and take a look. Levi. I drove my Chevy to the Levy. I drove my Chevy to the Levi. You guys ever seen a Karambit before? This is an IRL Karambit. It's pretty cool. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh my gosh, what did you do? We got ourselves a hat. The nice little, uh, I don't know what that's from. It's bugging me though. Is that from Garen Lagan? I don't know. We got a hat though. I'm definitely a hat person. Um, I'll put on some, but oh God, I don't know how I feel about wearing somebody else's hat. Open first. Okay. I've been instructed to open this first. Holy moly. We got a, we got a letter here. I'm going to go ahead and read this real quick. Oh, it's a, it's a blue exorcist hat. Blue exorcist. I'm sorry, I failed you guys once again. That was a very good letter. Thank you very much. You know who you are. Thank you, Levi. You have uh, provided me with a very good letter and also some goodies here. Wow, you were not kidding. Uh, K-On manga here. If you guys are not aware what this is, well, I'm sure, I mean, most of you guys are aware of what this is. It's K-On, it's a manga. Um, this was a Loot Crate exclusive back in the day, so not a lot of people have this, unless you subscribe to Loot Crate, which I feel sorry for you. That is very cool. Thank you. What else we got? We got a shirt, it looks like. Oh, this is one of those, like, this is one of those mass up, mass up. This is one of those, like, mashup shirts between ReZero and Rim and Ichigo from Bleach. I am confusion, but anyways, we got a nice little mashup shirt there. It's very soft. I'll give it that. I will... Definitely be wearing this. What size is this? Dude, it's even my size. This is perfect. So we got a nice shirt, and then we also got a figure. And you guys might be super excited. Oh my gosh, you got a cool Data Live Neandroid. But unfortunately, as I have been advised, this is a bootleg. Um, I'm not a huge Neandroid person. I'm more into the scales. Okay, that face doesn't look very good. That face is all gross and painted badly and kind of just looks awful that was very good thank you very much levi you uh you killed it on that one. Oh no i didn't get everything i'm sorry oh my gosh i almost threw away these awesome pins oh from how to not pick up a girl in a dungeon or right is that how you say it is it wrong to pick up a girl in a dungeon package number four here coming to us in a ami ami box just teasing me um, comes from a Rigoberto. Rigoberto, that is a very nice name. This is the last package, so we're gonna end on a, a good note. I can feel it. Rigoberto, you did not skimp on tape. I will give you that. It's definitely the heaviest 
of the boxes. It's it's got some weight to it for sure. Okay. Uh I'm slightly scared, but that's okay. We got like a black bag. Um all right, let's see. Should I pop this bag open? Oh, okay. We got a note. Okay, that makes me less scared. Let's read the note first. Wow, holy moly. Okay, so Rigo, which hopefully I'm saying that right. Um very good note, by the way. Thank you so much for all of the goodies that you have provided me, it looks like. Yeah, and he also said that whatever I don't want, I can do a giveaway to you guys, um, which is cool. I think that's a very good idea. I definitely would like to do that here in the near future. Oh, it's like a little folder. It's a Squid Girl, good old Squid Girl, uh, clear folder, apparently. Yeah, look at, what the heck? Oh, and it's got goodies inside. Am I gonna have actual cool pillowcases? Oh my gosh, the lollies are real, you guys. We got some neat little uh, pillowcases here. You guys can't make fun of me anymore for my uh, my sheets. We're gonna be sleeping on anime girls tonight, boys. Oh yeah. Another squid girl uh, clear folder here. K-On set of four life-size cloth posters. Are you kidding me right now? There is no way. Open faster. Oh my god, you guys. I mean, you guys know me and posters. I'm a poster person. Oh my god, look at the thighs. A life-size K-On poster, you guys. I can't even... I, I can't even. It's too big. You guys see it? Look at that. Look how big it is. And there's four of these. Look at this one. School swimsuit, are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, this one's heavy. Folder, I'm definitely gonna be using these to uh, actually file stuff. You know I am. What is going on in here? Oh my gosh. The Opie mouse pads are real, you guys. Can I show this one? Yeah, we can show this one, why not? Opie mouse pads for days, you guys. For days. This is this is how you want your Opie mouse pad. Like, you don't want a Supersonico it. You want like a gentle, Gentle bosom to work on. You don't want it to be too much, okay? Uh, Rigo, I, Rigo, Rigo, I think you, uh, I think you killed it. This is, uh, this has been a lot. It's been freaking Christmas up in here, you guys. Jesus. Holy moly, you guys. Um, wow. I don't really know what to say. Thank you. Thank you, I guess, to everyone who has sent in packages over the last few weeks. I definitely appreciate it. The P.O. box is still open, so if you guys do want to send in something to be featured in the next Weeb unboxing video, uh, definitely feel free. I'll be more than happy to open it. If you guys ever do want to hang out with me, then definitely check out the Discord link in the description. It's filled with a whole bunch of very cool people, so uh, yeah, if you want to hang out with some very cool Weebs, trade some memes, whatever it might be, then definitely check it out. You guys will not be sorry. I guarantee it. But all right, you guys, that is going to do it for this video. Thank you so much for checking it out. I do appreciate you. And I will catch all you guys in the next video. Peace.